everyone, this is Moshe Zussman for Shutter Magazine and here is a little video I made about uh, how I got the gig article to talk to you about the pageant photo shoots that I've been doing for the Miss DC uh, for Miss America organization. So uh, I'm going to start with showing you the final images. These are the 20 contestants that I photographed in about a day and these are their final images after retouching. As you can see, pretty well organized, looks great, very consistent, consistent lighting which is the result of building a light setup that is very versatile between different heights and skin tones and figures but very easy to replicate as well. Uh, before I go into that any further I'm going to show you how it all started and here you can see that this is a catalog to prevent confusion with other catalogs I work I literally exported this entire shoot into its own catalog normally you would see every job I have here sorted out. So uh, in March, in March 10th, this is how I name every folder for every job. I have the, the, the shoot name and then every contestant get their own folder. And here they're sorted by alphabetical order, but as I was shooting them, um, I created a folder for each one. After I shoot between, as you can see, 20 to uh, 30, 40 photos on average, I then ask the contestant, the girl, to come and look at the screen with me. And what I do is I use a lot of sh Lightroom uh, shortcuts on the keyboard to quickly make the display the, as least possible as distracting as uh, I've seen some other people, some other photographers do. Um, using the quick shortcuts uh, shift tab, I'm going to eliminate all the panels. Uh, shift F I'm going to eliminate all the other distractions from the screen and make it full size uh, then I go to survey uh, v uh, mode which is the letter N I select all the images and with holding the command button I already remove uh, photos that had bad exposures by mistake or if their eyes were blinking um, or anything like that or anything I know automatically will look really bad and the person may not like it after the person has pointed out to images that they like, what I do is I mark them with a red label. Uh, that's the six, the number six button on the keyboard. And if I turn on the filter after they did that, and then they'll see, you'll see that they're looking just at all the photos that they liked from that photo shoot. Uh, with this one, it was a very swift decision. She only liked one image. We moved on to the next girl. You will see here the same thing and then the next girl and so on. Um, here's another example of about 51 images that we shot. We started by selecting all the semi-finalists from that screen with a five star. Any photo that she pointed that she may like, we click on it and hit five on the keyboard. The photo automatically gets a five star rating. After we marked a bunch of those, then we turn the five star filter. And she's now down to her 11 semi-finalists as I like to call it and when they make a decision here's the one I like and of course we help them there's a stylist on site we then mark it with six on the keyboard which is the red label and again down to the final image there you go I'll show you one more example uh, another one right here we shot more because I believe there was an outfit change or a hairstyle change but the same process after going through all the images selection. We've done it in, in a bunch of uh, batches on the screen, so it wasn't uh, the situation was a little different. She didn't have to look at thumbnails that are that small. Uh, we did it by the first outfit, picked one, changed outfit, picked the second one. Eventually, in each outfit, if you do the five star, the semi finalist, you will see that there is less options to choose from. And then from this mode, Again, going into a full screen, less distractions. You hit L for lights out. You will see that um, there's a lot less to choose from with no distractions. And she picked, I believe it was this image. And there you go. Down to one outfit, one image. And that's the process that we did with all these girls. It was about 20 of them. And I'll show you what it looks like at the end when you select all of these the director from the pageant visited the studio so every now and then I'll just show them this screen which is a great view of here's what we have today um, these are all 20 contestants again very consistent lighting 
Each one gets personal attention. You show them their images. They're standing in front of the computer with our tethering station upstairs. They get to pick their final image. Then we pass it on. The, those images get exported as you can see them after uh, very minimal corrections, maybe cropping, maybe white balance correction. Although, from what I remember, we didn't have to do any corrections to this uh, photo shoot. We export these. We have a special export uh, in high res that goes straight to my retoucher's Dropbox. And then about a week later, he sends us a Dropbox of all the version ones. We call it V1. It's a workflow we developed so that we get files from him. And you know, we know that they're already edited. Unless there was a revision, they're going to stay version one. But if their girl ever or a client ever needed a retouching revision, then we will name that folder a V2 and the file name will get the same uh, treatment. And there you can see all 20 images finalized and retouched. And they're all looking pretty nice, slick, pretty well uh, retouched. We don't do a ton of retouching, even though it's for pageants. We want to make sure that when a judge looks at the photo, they know that this is the person in front of me. This is not someone that had a ton of Photoshop done to them. So we just clean up the image, tuck a little bit, and make sure everybody's looking amazing. Working uh, with these girls is a lot of fun because you get to work with such a variety of looks. Uh, it's almost a uh, practice day. I, I don't think I practice on clients, but I call it a, a practice your lighting and challenge yourself to shoot a lot of people with consistent lighting. And it's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy this video and enjoy the article, and I'll see you next time. Take care.